Greetings people, this is Keith the Modesto doing my Let's Play Minecraft series using the Forge Mod Loader and the Direwolf 20 Mod Pack. Today, <clears throat> I'm thinking for various reasons it would be good, well, I would like to have a Builder's Wand because I want to get started with, on, um, I want to get started doing Blood Magic, a new mod, at least for this pack, I don't think, I don't think the Blood Magic mod has been in the Direwolf 20 Mod Pack before this one, um, and I haven't done anything with it. <clears throat> so, but I want to build, at first I want to build uh, a special building for doing blood magic, and it would be a big, big help to have a builder's wand, and that means I need to make, I need to activate the division, division sigil. That is what we're going to try to do this episode. So right in here I've got, ah, uh, excuse me. Okay, right here I have got, um... All the things you need to make a an, an enchantment table. I have not made an enchantment table before in this series. That is, this is, I of course have made them before, but not in this series. That's what I'm saying. Okay, it's good, but we need that, and we also need um, some redstone. I have that, and a safari net, and of course the division division sigil. We need some weapons, and maybe I should switch out my armor here. Put on my Moment. Instead of this. So let's go place this down. We have to do this at midnight, of course. So, but we can set things up. So I'm thinking we want to we want to go a ways away. We don't want to be right by our base when we do this. So I'm thinking this place right here it would be good. Okay, and we need we need something to sacrifice. This cow has volunteered. So there you go. And then we're gonna place this thing right here. It has to see the sky and it can. We're gonna surround it by redstone. And then we take our division sigil and right click. And it says, and it's supposed to tell, oh shit, sneak right click. Okay, altar has, has the redstone circle. Good, altar and circle placed on dirt. Good, altar can see the moon. Yes, altar has sufficient natural earth. Yes, altar must not be lit by any outside sources. The outside source is, right now is the sun. Too early, sacrifice must be made at midnight. There you go. Okay, so it's all ready to go. We just have to wait for the right time. Uh, so while we're waiting, I'll probably do a cut, but I will show something I did in between episodes, and then I will do the cut while I wait for it to get dark. Okay, so my bees have been doing fine. <clears throat> okay, one of the things, I can't remember all the things I did last episode. I moved all these things, right? Yeah. Uh, let's see, I think we put capacitors in these things, yes. In fact, I had them turn, I had this thing turned on and they turned themselves off. They powered this, uh, themselves off once this, once this thing was full. And, well, actually, I guess it was once their internal buffers were full. Their internal buffers are not full now because I've been processing things up there. Which reminds me, there is something else I need to make, but I don't know if we'll get to it in this episode. Maybe we will. But I wanted to show this. This. In the last episode, I put down, I made this little, uh, I, I put a, a source, <clears throat> a, a, a block of water, a source block of water in this little hole and through those in the in there the uh certus quartz seeds and actually you know what was it in the last episode i actually had them over here but i found is uh when you drop things around here the the um the hawker ho the hopper hawk flower is about right over there so it's close enough it's close enough that if you drop if I drop these seeds in that water, they disappear because the hopper hawk picks them up and they go in that chest where the wood is for the wood farm. Anyway, so I moved I moved the hole over here and right now we can see that they're at 16%. Um, it's very, very slow. But I did this. I put down, I put down a, um, 
machine inventory manager from C's factory manager and then there's a uh, inventory cable there of course and uh, under there is an item valve so I've got this little program and I item valves pick things up like a kind of like a vacuum hopper or the hopper hawk um, but they don't have their they don't have an internal inventory they just it's kind of like that I, I heard this described in a video as is like the outside the area outside of it just immediately about three about three blocks out three blocks on either side of it three blocks up three blocks down um, in the world is it's that's its inventory so um, anyway so I have this program in here um, it normally normally it would pick up anything and put it if it had a if it had a, a hopper attached to it like underneath it so that kind of like say you had a chest and then you had a hopper under it and then anything you put in the chest would fall into the hopper the hopper would like pull it out of the chest well the same thing would happen with the item valve if you had if you had just an item valve sitting there without an inventory cable or a Steve's factory manager thing <clears throat> if you had the item valve here and you had a hopper here and you and you just dropped something on the ground nearby it would the item valve would pull it in and it would fall into the hopper and be in the hopper otherwise it's not going to do anything because there's no inventory inside of the item valve. But when you hook it up to a little C's factory manager uh, system, you can like pull things in and put them into an attached inventory. You just got to write a little program to do it. And that is what is doing is happening here. Things fall th things near that fall nearby are going to get pulled in and put it to this chest. Except that also I have it set up that so that it's whitelisted. The only thing it's going to pull in is pure Sirtis quartz crystals, and and this this is the inventory here is the item valve, right? And then in the output, the inventory is the chest, that chest right there, and it's white also whitelisted. The only thing they can go in that chest is the pure Sirtis quartz crystal. Well, the only thing that Steve's factory manager is going to put in that chest. So what that means, so those things in there are not pure Sirtis quartz crystal. They are seeds. They're going to turn into pure source quartz crystals eventually, and when they do, then this thing it'll pick them up and put them in the chest automatically, which is really cool. <coughs> Excuse me. So that was the uh, thing I added, and the sun is going down. That is the thing I added in in between episodes. Is that little that little setup? So I thought that was pretty cool. I think I I think I must have read a suggestion that is a suggestion somewhere on a form as a way to handle those uh, seeds because the seeds don't despawn they're especially coated so they won't despawn which is good because they take a very long time to uh, actually become pure surface quartz crystals but the pure surface quartz crystals will despawn there's nothing special about they, them so after five minutes if they're just laying around they're going to despawn so it's good to have something to automatically pick them up okay so I'm going to do a cut right now and when it is looking like it's midnight I will I will come back and we will do this activation ritual for this division sigil so I'll be back I will be back when it's midnight okay <clears throat> I've uh, started recording again the, the moon is very close to being at the top actually the the sigil just started going which means we can go ahead and I don't see any monsters nearby which is fortuitous okay so all we have to do is place down our sheep and kill it Oh, okay, I need to eat something. Even though I, w I knew that was coming, I still wasn't ready for it. Okay, so we need to kill us some monsters. So here we go, like that creeper. Especially don't want that creeper to be around. Okay, now the main objective of this was to get our the division sigil activated. So that was a, that was a success. I would also like to get a few blocks of of uh, that cursed earth, although that isn't really crucial. I'm gonna try to fly over here. I have my hang glider on. Oh, shoot. Messed up. Oh, no! Shit! 
Oh. I was slain by a wither cat. Oh, there's a witch around here. Oh. Well, here I am. Oh, there's a... There's an enderman around here somewhere. Okay, I guess I better first I'll grab some food. I'm walking so slowly. Um... Okay, and let's grab, um, let's make a sword or something. I'm walking so slow. Okay, all my stuff should be safe in the grave, which is good. I hope it is, that is true. Okay, um, what am I looking for? I'm looking for armor. One, two. I'm just going to make yourself a simple iron sword. I wonder if I should make a bow. I probably should try to make a bow. So let's grab some feathers and one, two, three, string and some flint. Oh, I need more sticks to make arrows with. Okay, that'll be fair enough. Okay, so <coughs> sword. And, oops, bow, and this is probably backwards, some arrows. That's what I meant to do. Oh. Okay, I wonder where that enderman is. Probably a little meanie in a minute. Okay, so the sun is going down. Oh, I should get a shovel. Okay. And we'll get rid of the rest of my stuff. Okay. Sun's going to be going up soon, coming up soon, so I'm going to try to get over here without being killed. If I get killed, oh, where's my? All right. If I get killed, I get killed. Oh well. Um, I'll just wait till the sun's fully up. In that case, when the sun comes up, the the uh, cursor starts being destroyed. Although it doesn't all get destroyed at once, so oh, it looks like there's a hole, a world hole. Okay, so we're already on. I can't. I should have. I should have grabbed some s stone blocks. I can't. You know, I can't jump up real high anymore. Okay, so things are already burning. Oh. Oh, okay. Oh, not a witch. Oh, what's what? I keep needing the wrong keys. I'm gonna. Okay, so she's dead at least. Give me my shovel. I'm so not used to being so slow. Let's just go out there. I need a, I need to have a pick. I should have made a pick. Let's see. I wonder if you can make a pick out of copper.
Okay, so hopefully, I don't know, can graves be burned up? If I was on some of the cursed earth when I died, I don't know if I was, but if I was, then the grave, my first, when I first, the first time I died, I mean, then that first gravestone would be on cursed earth and it would be on fire. I don't know if that would hurt it or not. I guess we'll have to find out. Oh, you have to have silk touch. Oh, I forgot about that. Shoot, 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 shoot. We will cover that up. I have to get silk touch before I can... Ugh. Oh, there's one grave. Okay, cool. Let's see what it... Well, let me get rid of all the fire around here first. I lost that one already. Okay. So I'm hoping that that uh, some of this stuff will survive if it's not if it's covered up but from the sun. Here we go. Otherwise, I'll have to do that again just to get cursed earth which I want to have. So let's grab some more dirt here. Actually, do this a little more sensibly. I don't know if putting dirt right on top of it really would work. So we're gonna go like this. that up. I guess all the monsters are dead. That's good. They were annoying me by killing me over and over again. Ah! Oh. There. Okay, that should have protect some of it anyway. Where did my, my pickaxe go? I'll pick up this thing up. Here's my timer. Okay, let's get out of here. Now, so, I did not get any cursed earth. I've not get any, gotten any cursed earth yet. Hopefully, that stuff I... I was able to protect some of it enough that I should put my bubbles on. Oh! I guess that was the sound of my bobble. Spook, spooked me. Oh, I put some enchantments on my armor since I had the enchantment table. Okay, so, uh, so I need to wrap things up, but I just want to look real quick um, to see how hard it would be to make a shovel with some, uh, just, just the simplest shovel would be enough that has um, um, I don't know which book it is that would have silk touch on it <clears throat> and you can put silk touch on stuff using uh, Bell McTinkerer There, silky. Okay, so that is. I need an emerald, I guess. I don't know if I have an emerald. What is that? That might be a gold nugget, or it could be brass, but I need an emerald, apparently. Was it? 
be nice if you could go backwards. Silky jewel. Silky cloth. Okay. Okay, so silky cloth, aluminum brass. Okay, that's not bad. A bunch of string. Okay, that's fine. And that is an emerald. So... I don't know if I have an emerald. Of course, I could just grab a bunch of stuff and go to a village until I can trade for an emerald. Let's see if I happen to have gotten an emerald somewhere. I don't remember having gotten an emerald, but I might have. So, my treasure's right here. So, no emerald in there. No emerald in there. Okay. So, in the next episode, I think uh, I'm going to go I'm going to go find an emerald and I guess I'll do that on camera. I will go fly to a village and then on camera I will trade for an emerald and we'll come back and make a shovel with silk touch on it. I don't think the shovel that shovel does not have silk touch on it. Does that? I have two modifiers remaining. I wonder if I should put silk touch on this. I could do that. Why not? That'll be faster. Okay, so the next episode we'll put silk touch on this on my shovel, on my excavator shovel, and then we'll see if any of that cursed earth is still surviving over there. The stuff I covered up so it wouldn't be exposed to the sunlight. It should be. It should be. That would be nice. Because then I could I can make a I can make a spawner. Uh, which is another thing I'd like to do right away. But anyway, do I do have the activated division sigil, which means I can start making, uh, I can make a, um, this is what I want to make. I want to make a builder's wand. It is one of the easiest thing to make using uh, this one. Not that one, this one. Builder's wand. You have to use the unstable ingot, which is dangerous, but it only needs one, so that should be really easy. Oh, so I need some obsidian. I think I have one block of obsidian still. Uh, when you right click on a block. Anyway, so this is, yes, that's what I want. Okay, so let's wrap things up. This has been Keith and Modesto. Did the activation ritual. Lots of monsters got killed, of course, because I'm not really, uh, I'm out of practice as far as fighting things. <clears throat> but I guess, uh, but still, we uh, succeeded. <clears throat> so thank you for watching, and I hope you have a fantastic day.